I'm Wendy reporting for RS News. Recently, the RS Middle School Model United Nations, also known as MUN, has gone for an international conference in Singapore. Today, I have Ms. B, the advice for MUN, for an interview. Thank you, Ms. B, for coming here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes. What exactly is MUN and what other activities that the students do? MUN stands for Model United Nations, and it's a simulation of the real United Nations in New York. Students learn such skills as debating. They do a great deal of researching and writing, and it comes all together, hopefully, in time when we go to a conference where they represent a country, they present their policy statement, and then they go ahead and present their resolutions to some of the issues that a particular country may be having. So the conference in Singapore, was it like really fun and did like students learn a lot from other peers? I, I think the students enjoyed the conference. I think probably on the first day they were a little bit intimidated because they were meeting a lot of students from all over parts of Asia and the students to them seemed very well trained. Um, they knew a little bit more about the protocols. But as the day wore on, they got more and more familiar with what was happening. They learned how to be present at roll call. They learned how to vote. They learned how to do four speeches. They learned how to present points of interest. Um, a lot of talking and lobbying and debating with their students their own age um, in this conference. So yeah, I would say that they had a a very wonderful learning experience, and they enjoyed themselves. Yeah, sounds awesome. So the, um, the Model United Nations, there's a lot of learning processes in there. What exactly does it prepare you for? I think being part of United Nations or MUN um, in middle school certainly will help the students prepare for the club at the high school. Many of them are already talking about they want to join, they want to keep going. It was such a good experience for them. Um, some of the areas I think it would help you with lifelong learning is to be more confident and have um, better speaking skills, certainly writing and, and research, sharing your ideas, learning to compromise. Those are all lifelong skills that you'll use all the time. So there's a club in the high school for Model United Nations? Yes. Yes. Is the Model United Nations in middle school still going to be here? As far as I know, we will have a section of um, Model United Nations in eighth grade again next year, and I'm looking forward to working with some, some new students. So it's only eighth grade? It's only eighth grade for now. Oh, okay. So if... If you want to join, do you just sign up for it in your elective? Yeah. The students, um, seventh graders that are going to be eighth graders, are presently signing up for their classes and their uh, electives, their choice of electives. So I hope to get a, a good sized group and take them to conferences next year. It sounds awesome. So is there anything else that you would like to say to the audience? Um, just I think it's been a great experience. It's not only a good experience for the students, it's a good experience for me. I get students in the organization and the elective that um, I might not teach, and so they have a different perspective on things, and it's very interesting to watch them work together and then really work together at a conference. It's, it's been a very good learning experience, I think, for everybody. If you have any more questions, you can ask Ms. B. And this is Winnie reporting for RS News. Tune in for the next report.